Right, welcome to Cropperty Blog 2018. We are here in Cropperty, but something is not quite right. Wrong shirts. Welcome to Cropperty Blog. Us three tubers finally meet. Us three tubers finally meet. Welcome back, and it's been so lovely to see all of your wonderful faces about, um, to hear about all your support, all your feedback, so thank you so, so much for that, guys. Um, I'd like to do an honourable mention to my sister and her now fiancé, Peter, who got engaged at this very festival last night. So well done, guys, and all the best for your future. I really wish you the best. Um, so this, this sort of experience is now become more of a personal one, and that's the questions we've been asking people. Absolutely. We know that everyone here has a different experience, but the one thing that unites people is the music. So we've been asking people a question this year which comes in two parts. The first part is what is your favourite thing you have ever seen on the stage here and the second part is what would you most like to see. I really found Brian Wilson a lot of fun because it was, um, yeah, everyone knows the Beach Boys don't they? So yeah, that was a lot of fun last night. I had a good crack then. A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and who would you most like to see? The Afro Celt sound system, but they're on this yeah. weekend, so that's, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing about that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I guess overall I'd have to say Richard Thompson is probably my fave favourite, but been a lot of surprises along the way, some of the special guests. There was a year uh, Roger Hodgson came from uh, Super Tramp, and just so random, but everybody knew all the songs, and, you know, something like that happens, and it's like 20 minutes of really nice uh, evening magic. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so from that, um, who would you most like to see on the stage? Well, the people that I can think of that have never played here, Billy Bragg, uh, the Bevis Frond, okay. great band, uh, Chumbawamba, broke up, but great band that sort of incorporated, you know, folk music and dance music and sort of everything, you know, kitchen sink kind of music. Uh, I don't know, those are a few that come to me right off the top of my head. Uh, I'd probably like to see Month and Sons come in here, and it was either Alice Cooper or Chas and Dave. Uh, I think it's a sham that Rod Hull and Emu haven't played here yet, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. off the back yeah. of that, yeah. I think Ralph McTell yeah. in 2009 yeah. was the best was ever. He was pretty good. He was personally we love Ralph. Out. The favourite acts that I've seen on this stage have got to be Fairport. It's just a given. Would, who would I most like to see? Ooh. Can they be dead? It works for us. Anyone can be dead. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, Janis Joplin? Okay, yeah. That'd be good fun, wouldn't it? I'm Max, also known as Matt Mansu, and you are watching Crockery Block. So everyone has different memories of this festival, and that's one of the things that makes the festival so great. But one of the things that we've been specifically asking people this year is what is your funniest Crockery memory? When the, the generator went on fire? Oh, yes. And there was a sense of worry, right? but most people were walking around and cracking jokes about it. It's only smoke. And I did, sort of, I, wherever it came from, I was on the microphone at that particular point in time, and I said, well, don't blame me just because I'm from Northern Ireland. And so that is perhaps my, fun, my funniest moment. Apart from some of the unrepeatable jokes that the crew would tell you over the course of three days, when you think that they're not even paying attention to anything, but they're so focused. And there's a lot of there's a lot of humour backstage, but that certainly that's my funniest moment. Ooh. I find Crop really terribly, terribly dull. Yeah, very uh, serious. And there was very, almost very no fun serious. to be had here. No, really I mean, don't know my, 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 my clue to you is, stay, by the way, I'm here against my will. Call the police. Help me. Call the police. Yeah. I oh, honestly yeah. don't know why, after 27 years, I still keep coming here. 
Yes. Yeah. I have to question my sanity. It's a very serious festival, no laughter to be had. I think Robert Plant nearly running some people over was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, backstage, that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. So how did Good it just driving? Around? Driving too fast. He's driving too fast, Robert. Far too fast, yeah. I love watching Richard Dargents get everybody doing Morris dancing. That's so silly. Just, you know, it all works up and of course they're all standing there waving their hankies in the air. It's great. I think my f funniest is when I was about five and a story about a storybook man tripped over me trying to get onto his chair. It was all right. He wasn't hurt. He just fell over and made it part of the story. I came here one year with a friend from Manchester and so he decided it would be fun. He wanted to get a lot of like candid photos of me with, you know, Fairport band members, whoever was around kind of thing. And uh, we were, were both big uh, Roy Harper fans, so I would stand next to Martin Alcock or whatever with his Manchester shirt on and he'd say, all right, smile and say Roy Harper's a <laughs> And then, you know, whoever it was would look at me like, <laughs> So all the photos are like that. Yeah, it's great. Thanks again everyone for watching. Thank you for your support over the years. We've had an absolute blast. This year, as we do every year, we were not underwhelmed. It was an absolutely amazing time and we just hope you had as much fun as we did. Just like to say, we've got some very exciting stuff coming in the next couple of years. So um, please, keep, keep tuned for that. It'll be some very good stuff, we hope. Yes, make sure you follow us on all of our social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're a property blog on all of those things. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well if you want to keep up to date on everything we're doing. Thanks again for watching. This has been Property Blog 2018 and what a year it's been. I've been Matt. I've been Dan.